I think the importance of the project uh, as regards the Ewa Valley Mining Project itself was to record Clifton Hall Cholera, more so because of the disaster that happened in 1885 and the fact that it had never been recorded before apart from a sort of singular object in St Augustine's Church which you know was quite small, nobody knew where it was unless they went to the church. This is the actual site of the disaster and that's why we wanted it known to history and uh, the people could actually see where it happened. The colliery was quite a modern col uh, new colliery and it was um, in production from the 1820s up until 1929. It was uh, a productive pit. It was um, created a lot of employment for the local area and it actually went up until the 1950s when it was used as a washery from the farmer coal mine at Wheatsheaf for Newtown Collieries. And it was, it's vastly different even from 20 or 30 years ago because now there's a waste site built on the top of it. And just before that we stood near the shafts, the former shafts, and there was a mound above the shafts where the shafts were filled in. But there was runners sticking out into the sky that would have took the cages down to the pit bottom. So there's nothing to see now really apart from vegetation and growth. So it's changed quite a lot around here as well. From This was the main repository for slag from the area's pits and it's greenery now. Nature's really won back. Even 30 years ago it was just a picture of blackness and uh, bleakness and uh, it's a totally different aspect now. But what happened on uh, June the 18th, 1885 was that there was a methane explosion an explosion of coal dust at the colliery and it led to the deaths of 178 men and boys. The accident happened pretty near the pit bottom and as a result the shafts were destroyed so there was no access in and out of the colliery and the only ones who survived the, the uh, disaster, the preliminary explosion, was by escaping through a tunnel connection to Aitchoff Colliery, 800 yards below ground in the Dow seam. Um, and they escaped through the shafts at Agecroft, otherwise they would have died in the disaster. The tunnel that they escaped through was only four feet high and it was flooded with water up to the height of the noses so they had to make their way along the tunnel and a few passed away in the tunnel because of lack of oxygen and methane in the air so they were lucky the ones that got out but anybody who was actually left in the vicinity of the, of the pit bottom was killed. What we found was when we were doing the research into the Clifton Hall Colliery and the disaster particularly when we were doing the monument was that when we were working with the children at St Augustine's we found a link between the colliery disaster and the descendants living today, a young, a young girl. So it was pertinent that when we unveiled the memorial she came along and did it with um, members of the NUM and local, the local MP Rebecca Long Bailey and some councillors so she was the focal point of it because we'd found that link and that's what we're all about, education and delving into the past and making it relevant today I suppose.